So in this video what I'm going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at working with picture libraries in a SharePoint team site. So what I've done is I've navigated to my SharePoint team site, you can see it here. On the left here you'll notice the quick launch menu but there's no option as yet for a picture library. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to add that app to our team site. Now to do that we go to the quick launch menu on the left, we select site contents and from there what we need then to do is to then select add an app. Now this will give us a list of apps that are available for our uh, SharePoint site. If we scroll through the list here what we'll find is is that there is an option here for a picture library. So all we need to do that is to e select it and then give it a name. So on this time I'm going to call it uh, images and that will then add it to my site. Now what we'll see here is in the list of apps we have on our site we'll now see images appears. You'll also notice on our menu over here on the left under recent we have also have an item called images that has been added. So if I click on either of these I'll be taken to my image library. So what's different from an image library? Well an image library is very much like a document library in that you upload image files to it um, and then you can use them, look at them and add details. But the difference here is is that we can get things like previews and slideshows using an image library because it's dedicated to images. So what we're going to do firstly is as we do with document libraries we can upload documents individually or we can upload them uh, in bulk. So I'm going to go into my images directly, directory here and let's just pick a suitable image and let's just upload one so we can get a look at what's happening. So again very much like a document library you'll see it upload but now what you'll notice is when compared to a document library I actually get this uh, thumbnail preview. Now if I click on that image that I've just uploaded it will take me into more details for that image. Now what you'll notice down here is I also have standard fields called description and keywords as well as the picture size. So if I go in and edit this item what I can then do is I can then go in and add information into those fields. Now um, this is very important when it comes to things like needing to do search. So again what we can do here is we can enforce the ability for users when they upload cars, uh, sorry when they upload images to um, this uh, picture library that they in fact have to complete these details so that when people are searching it makes it much easier to find. So I've had this uh, information as metadata and the reason I've done that is because again if we look at what the file is actually called up here at the top it's just called IMG 0412 so it's going to be rather difficult to um, find what that picture may contain if we're just looking for the file name. So we can add additional metadata um, around the picture to make it easier to search. Now when we've uploaded um, some other pictures, so let's go in and do a, an upload of maybe just another file here. So let's pick another red car, put that in and upload that. Okay so when that's uploaded you can see I'm now going to get a number of tiles across my screen with my images but because this is basically a library we can change the views. Now the views are held here under the menu bar at the top. So if I go to all pictures uh, rather than thumbnails you'll see that this now displays it in a manner which is almost identical to a document library. So again um, if I go to the ellipse you'll see that I get a preview of the file, I get the ability to edit, share, I get the um, additional menu options here. Um, so again very much like a document library. You'll also notice that once I've selected the file the ability to manage, share, sync and all those sort of things light up as they do in a document library. So this is very much the same sort of view as your standard documents. But if I change the view again and go to slides you'll see that what I'm presented with basically is a sort of a slideshow that I can then work through. So again these are some of the differences with a document library. I have a number of additional views in which I can view that specific picture information. So typically it's uh, thumbnails like you've got here um, but I can go to all pictures which gives me my normal list of just the file names and I can do also things like displaying it in a slideshow. So again this sort of shows you the power 
um, of a picture library versus a document library. But at its core, a picture library is very similar to a document library. So again, the easiest way to get um, a whole range of documents in is simply to go to your local directory, select the files you want, and then just drag and drop them on top of the location in SharePoint in your picture library, and you'll see them upload and there they are now. So again, nice and easy, quick way to work with an image library. So again, if you want to add a picture library to your team site, you'll need to go into site contents. You'll need to add an app, select the app for a picture library, give it a name, and then once you have a name, you can then start uploading your images. Once you've done that, you can then view it in a number of different manners to work out what is best and easiest for you. So again, nice easy way to work with images, easily added to a SharePoint library, and again, it's really aimed at uh, working with images rather than documents. Um, so that is the major difference between a document library and a picture library. So with that, thank you very much for watching.